But when Obi-Wan has been fully trained, so they're now on the same level, full, same focus level, Obi-Wan has beaten him three times. <laughs> so I'm confused. Is Obi-Wan the chosen one or is it Anakin? Art isn't about giving fans what they want. It's about giving fans what they didn't think they wanted. So they're like, oh, wow. I didn't think I wanted this, but I want this. <laughs> Um, Star Wars, man. <laughs> underwhelming series. Underwhelming season. Fully underwhelming. Remember, this is coming from a guy who I am not, I repeat, I am not a Star Wars fan. I admire Star Wars because I'm a sci-fi fan and a fantasy fan. There are aspects of Star Wars I admire, but not a Star Wars fan. And I don't care when anyone says Star Trek is better and for sure Matrix is better. Um, you see, when you look at this episode... I'm like, this this episode just shows you the issue with Disney. And it's what George Lucas said. Because I, I watched the George Lucas interview that he did like some years ago before The Force Awakens came out. And he said that, I wanted to move Star Wars forward. These guys, Disney wanted to do something retro and for the fans. Everything here just feels for the fans. The fans are like this, the fans are like this, the fans are like this. And see, when I thought you're doing an Obi-Wan series, I thought, oh... We're not gonna um, see. We're gonna not follow up. We want, let's say, on a mission or a group of missions, and we're gonna have a character study on Obi Wan, the character. And what I thought would happen is that it would now juxtapose Obi Wan's path and what he's doing, and what Anakin and Darth Vader is doing. But what this was was let them fight again. And I'll, and I'll get to why that, that that's an issue, guys. This is spoilers. I'll get to why they 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 fight again. So I just thought that's the angle they took here of. A rematch of Anakin and Obi Wan, I thought, was a very poor, crass um, angle to do a story, and rather than just do a character story on Obi Wan and introduce other characters, or it could just be Obi Wan against the Inquisitors and so forth. But Darth Vader is just somewhere out there. Um, and Qui Gon, <laughs> they're so stupid. Qui Gon should have been Qui the 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 interaction should have been between Obi Wan and Qui Gon. That should have been what it's that is what that should be, have been the crux of this whole thing. The crux of this should have been Obi Wan and Anakin, um, looking back in the past, so you can actually use Hayden Christensen. So you now look back in the past at um, Hayden and Obi Wan, how they didn't have a whole episode of that is crazy, and obviously him and Qui Gon and Force Ghost interacting. Um, I said again, look. Little Leia is annoying. It's it's another Disney princess to make you say, oh how 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 cute. And it just shows you, I, I, I think Disney are racist. I, I, no, I believe not. They are racist. Because I, I feel there's a conspiracy going on here. Because <laughs> I was talking to my brother about this and everything. So Moses Ingram, you saw her coming. You saw her give us an audition and you gave her the role. Because my thing is that Danai Gurira, you have her on your books. She's in Black Panther. And Danai Gurira is light years a much better actress than Moses Ingram. Naomi Harris, Light is better than Moses Ingram. There are better actresses out there. Because my shocking thing is, this is not about Moses Ingram. This is about Deborah Chow, Kathleen Kennedy. Especially Deborah Chow because you're the showrunner and the director. Because they had to audition. Like, um, like what's it called? Ewan McGregor and Hayden, they didn't have to audition. But if you're Moses Ingram, someone that is new, you have to audition. So you saw her audition. I've been to auditions. I didn't know that. If people say no, it's nothing personal. You're just wrong for the role. But you have to audition to show what you're going to do, specifically in key scenes. Because when you go into your audition room, they give you key scenes. So, okay, this is a very key scene to see whether he can hit this emotional bit. Because, obviously, if you're brought into audition, you already know you can act. But then, are you the right kind of actor for what we're looking for? And, I'm, and how you picked her in this, and when there are other better actors out there, say that, is that if you wanted her to fail? Is it that you, you wanted black actresses to fail? Or is it just simple that you're just trash? <laughs> Maybe you're just trash. Um, now, my big issue. There's a problem here. Now, Star Wars fans, work with him because I'm confused. Which is why the whole Vader thing doesn't work. And this is because my brother, he's a huge massive Star Wars fan. And he was educating me on this stuff. Because I'm confused. I thought Anakin is supposed to be the chosen one. I thought Anakin is supposed to be super amazing. Like, this is like this great, amazing Jedi. 
So think about this right now. So Anakin is supposed to be amazing, but Obi-Wan beat him in episode three. Obi-Wan beat him again when he was fully focused and trained up in this in this series. And in episode four, Obi-Wan allowed him to beat him. So if you think about it, the, the only time that Obi-Wan won, so the only time that Darth Vader won was when Obi-Wan was tired, he hardly trained, he wasn't fully focused when they, they first met in this series. But when Obi-Wan has been fully trained, so they're now on the same level, full, same focus level, Obi-Wan has beaten him three times. <laughs> so I'm confused. Is Obi-Wan the chosen one or is it Anakin? <laughs> you know, I'm confused. So that is why I just said it was so stupid for them to even have the whole Darth Vader Obi-Wan thing there because it's like, if Darth Vader beats him, then it's like, okay, well, that whole thing in episode 4 doesn't make any sense. But if Obi-Wan beats him, and for me, I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but Darth Vader's that dude. You make Darth Vader look like a chump. So you don't how tough big time Darth Vader is, and Obi-Wan beat the crap out of this freaking dude. <laughs> and see, in my mind, Darth Vader is a guy who I, he, is he is flawless. Once he's Darth Vader, he is flawless. And the only time he gets beat is by his own son. You know, that is the only time that you see him get beat is, is, is by his own son, obviously, in the turn of the, the Jedi. But, but any other time? So, you just, so you're ruining the mystique and the power of Darth Vader by doing this to Homeboy, man. And which is just why this whole thing, it confuses me. <laughs> it confuses me. So, look, here's the thing about so, uh, You need George Lucas. You need the guiding light. You need him to really be able to guide what this whole thing is about. Because what you're seeing here are guys that don't have a clue. They don't have a clue about this. And this just feels as if nobody is really taking risks. Because my thing, because I was looking at this, I was like, oh, so this is Leia. Oh, this is Luke. Oh, this is Uncle Owen. Oh, this is Tatooine. Oh, this links in here. Oh, this links in here. Oh, this is the Imperial March. I'm like, for goodness sake, you move forward. Where are, this, where, are the, where are the new Jedi, the new Sith, the new characters? Move forward. But my thing is that even if you're doing an Obi-Wan series, if I was doing an Obi-Wan series, me, me, Leia will not be, be, be featured. You may speak of how Luke will not be featured. It's to be focused on Obi-Wan and Obi-Wan and the Inquisitors. And it was him and you're bringing in new characters, but the focus would be on him. And really him and the first course of Qui-Gon. So you're not seeing Obi-Wan post what happened in Vendor of the Sith. But it's like, these guys, all they care about is making the fans happy. And that's not how art works. Art is not about making the fans happy. Art is about giving the fans what they didn't think they wanted. That's the whole point. Art isn't about giving fans what they want. It's about giving fans what they didn't think they wanted. So they're like, oh, wow. I didn't think I wanted this, but I want this. <laughs> not like, oh, yeah. I know I wanted this, and you give it to me. Hey, I'm happy. No, it's like, oh, I'm shocked. I'm surprised. It's amazing. So the first time you see the, the, the Matrix, the first time you saw the first Star Wars, you know, the first time you saw the Lord of the Rings and so forth, it's like, wow, you're surprised. You, Ask is about surprise. It's about shock. It's about wonder. It's about awe. But under this clown, Kathleen Kennedy and so forth, it's just like, what's the other series? Amdo, oh, what happened before um, the events of episode? No, move forward move forward but these guys they're so afraid to move forward the sequels they tried to move forward but then in rise of the skywalker you bring back palpatine it's trash stuff is i'm sorry so for me i'm done with freaking watching this style stuff i was see i was intrigued in this hell no i'm watching freaking under hell no i'm watching that freaking taika watiti <laughs> i will hit it to thor man so for styles again as i always say a flawed concept and the moment george lucas sold it to disney lucas knew what he was doing because he knew that They'll keep stars relevant, but these guys will miss will miss what is what makes us amazing and people will come to cherish what I did. Facts.